So, so many people have been raving about the Fenty Beauty and I just had to get my hands on it. I have a long story. Long story short, I ordered online. <laughs> so, that's what took me so long to get this video up. But, nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and get into the tutorial and I'll let you guys know what I think at the end. I don't even know what to say, how to start this video off, but I'm just so excited. I can't even describe like how my insides are feeling right now. My man must be pretty damn jealous, okay? But I finally got all of my Fenty Beauty products. Girl, this is serious. So when I went online, I scrolled through the website and I just ended up purchasing the matchsticks big mistake i didn't get the foundation nothing the lip gloss nothing girl that was my first thought so then i started seeing how good that the foundation and stuff was i'm like girl let me just go to support because everybody's saying that you know they had success going to the actual store and after doing some research i went online and i ordered the foundation and the lip gloss so in all i got the foundation the three match sticks and the lip gloss didn't get the primer or anything because I usually don't use primers anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video because I know y'all don't care about nothing I'm talking about. I don't either. <sighs> Makes my heart beat. So first I'm going to start off business as usual and I'm just going to oil my face. This is a matte foundation. Oh, girl, I almost forgot on the D of my eyebrows. What? Okay. Let me just unbox everything, okay? So, got my foundation. It's so cute. My money's gone. I'm all alone. So, I did not purchase any of the brushes or the beauty blender. It's not something that I have to have right now. I'm going to start off with the foundation. And I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand first. I see what people mean by when they say that it's runny because when I first put it on there, it was like sheer and it's like I could wipe it and it would be gone. But after letting it sit, I heard that it is okay. Don't know what to expect, sis. Girl, this is not really my shade at all. I got the shade 400. I thought that I got the shade 410, to be honest. It is runny. Okay, so it is kind of blending in. But I noticed that it's not extra full coverage on the first layer and I don't like to put like a bunch of foundation on so I'm going in with this second layer just because that first layer really looked like I didn't even have anything on and although I feel like this line is for like simplicity I still want my face to be <laughs> now I can see where this foundation is full coverage and it's just looking Like, it's looking so beautiful. I don't really feel like I'm going to get a lot of creasing up here. So that's why I feel comfortable putting this over my eyes. Listen, y'all. Listen. I'm here for it. So on the back of my hand, I can't say that it got any darker. But I do see where it's drying and it looks more full coverage on the back of my hand now that it is drying it's not completely dry but i can definitely tell the difference from when i first put it on my hand to now and then looking at my face it really looks like my skin like what i wasn't even completely confident that this color would look so good on me like i didn't even believe it so i ended up ordering the color wheat it's not the exact same color as fawn in the la pro but it does have like a yellow undertone so i feel like i can work with it so i'm gonna swatch on the back of my hand it is a bit light from what i would normally wear but it's not too bad it feels good when i do this like 
to me it does feel creamy it doesn't feel like extra it doesn't feel like extra drying like most people were complaining depending on how this concealer looks after i blend it out i may use another concealer with it but let's see let's let's see it blends out so beautifully i feel so anxious right now i'm so thirsty right now for this makeup y'all And I'm gonna take the back of my beauty blender that has some of their leftover foundation and just blend it out because again, this color is a bit light for me. So if you made the mistake like I did and just went ham online, do what you gotta do to make it work. Now I'm gonna contour. Y'all already know that I got the shade Expresso. Looking at it, it looks really dark but we're gonna see i'm gonna swatch it on my hand so i'm gonna be careful with it like i'm not gonna be too heavy-handed with it when i first apply it so again i'm gonna take my beauty blender same side that i use for the foundation if i need to i'll go back and add more it's blending out so good okay so my camera did shut off while i was completing the rest of my contour but i'm gonna be completely honest with y'all i was noticing that the concealer was creasing underneath my eyes which i do always have problems with creasing Y'all was over here talking about this concealer don't crease, it's mad, blah, blah, blah. Girl, I started creasing, so I put this powder underneath my eyes to bake a little bit. The powder that I use underneath my eyes is my Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to get rid of the rest of this powder, and then I'm going to set my contour just because I don't want it to transfer. Okay, I'm setting that Espresso Concealer Stick with my Anastasia contour kit. This freaking foundation like this is a situation right now. So I want to show you guys something really quickly. You see these swatches I did on the back of my hand. If I take my finger and rub it across, you can kind of see that, for one, the foundation isn't moving at all. And even after rubbing the matchsticks, they're still there as well. Now I'm going to highlight. Am I going to highlight? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to apply some highlight, okay? So... I don't want to do that. I want to warm it up. And what I'm going to do is just take my finger and apply it. Just because all the reviews I done watched online, honey, that was the most recommended. So, y'all see how subtle this highlight is? And this is in the shade Cinnamon. From the looks of it online, I just knew that I was going to like it. Like, I really want to go for something simple. So, I'm not even going to go extra. something a little different <laughs> i haven't seen nobody do this yet but i'm going to take my Benny beauty lip gloss and this is the universal lip balm so i'm gonna try it on my lids i'm just gonna go straight from the applicator make sure that i don't get it on my liner and just blend it out with my fingers Go ahead and do my lips. 
And now I'm gonna take this new color in Adorable. These are the Milani um, matte lipsticks. And I'm gonna just place that on top of my entire lip as well. While I let that dry, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more highlighter just because I feel like I need it to be popping a little bit more. So I'm gonna take my highlighting stick and cinnamon again. I'm not gonna use any extra highlighters. I'm just gonna use what I have on hand, which is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick. So again, I'm gonna take some and rub it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take this little small brush and apply some to my inner tear ducts. This stuff is like, it's not creamy at all. It's like powdery a little. I can't really explain it. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Like for real. This is like a very beautiful like rose gold color. Honestly, like it's so beautiful. Y'all, I cannot go without putting this lip gloss on. So, I'm going to take the lip gloss and apply it over top of my lips. So, let's see how this looks. I like how it smells, too. It smells peachy. Like, when I hear people talk about how good it smells, like, I want somebody to tell me how it smells. So, to me, it just smells peachy. Mm. Okay, so let me just put... I don't want to use just bare gloss on my lips. So, let me just put this... In the center again. Okay. Now I'm just going to apply the lip gloss to the center of my lips. Because it does have like a tint to it. It's not like clear so. Okay y'all so this is the finished look. My camera is about to die, so I feel like I'm pressed for time. <sighs> if you could just see how good I look in person. Oh my goodness, like, I am just, like, so in love with the way that my face looks. I'm totally in love with the products. I actually like the matchsticks. I didn't think that I would be in love with them just because of all the reviews I've watched. Like, nobody seemed to be, like really in love with the match sticks but i actually like them i'm definitely gonna pick up some more of those highlighting sticks because i like how they look and i like how they apply to the skin um i mean the lip gloss is just a regular lip gloss it's not a must-have product but the foundation girl it just makes my skin look i don't even want to say airbrush like it just makes my skin look healthy radiant you know everything that you would look for in a foundation you guys saw me use my Sasha Cosmetics translucent powder but as far as like setting the foundation I didn't do that I don't feel like I have to in order to keep this flawless face unfortunately I'm not going anywhere tonight so I can't really do a wear test but so far from my first impressions I love it I don't really have any complaints at all <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the tutorial Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Um, like this video, share it, comment down below. I know you probably already got your hands on that Fenty Beauty, so let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Riri, you did your thing, girl. Like, you did your thing, girl. You did your thing.